After we work on the stability and the position using stabilizing reversal and rhythm stabilization, we will move into controlled mobility. In controlled mobility, we could apply the dynamic reversal technique. And so here, I, uh, we could also apply the same hand placement. So on the pelvis on right and left, on the shoulders on right and left, or on one shoulder and one pelvis. Let's do the pelvis. Now, uh, the therapist is standing behind in a step position. I want you to lean forward as much as you can. Lean forward the whole time. Pelvis as well. Lean forward, lean forward. Okay. Lean back. Okay. Okay. Now I will apply resistance. So lean forward and I resist. Pelvis. Lean forward, lean forward. Okay. Now lean back. Back, 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 back. Okay. Good job. Forward. As you can see, I am allowing movement here. And as usual, we switch the one hand first, do the order. So move back and then switch the other hand. Back, back, back to the pelvis. Okay. And now in those techniques, we can apply hold at the end. So lean forward, 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 hold, hold. Now let's lean back, 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 back. And hold, hold. Again, forward with a hold. Okay. And the other thing we could do is we could change the range of the motion. So for example, for the patient who has uh, stability issues, we could start with a small range of motion and gradually increase. So this is the increment of the range of motion, or we could do it the other way around with the decrement of range of motion. So let's increase the length. Lean forward. Okay. Now lean back. Back, back, back. Okay. Forward. Now I'll increase the range. Forward, forward, forward. And now back, 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 back. Okay, forward one more time. And relax. 